Welcome to Crumble Tower. Uh, the platforms crumble. And you got these things. So the only obstacle are those little guys. But they're trivial because you can just sort of uh, chain jump up the right side of Crumble Tower. Doesn't even matter if the platforms crumble. If you're quick enough, you can grab them or you can jump up. And uh, yeah, we're done Crumble Tower already. That happened. Well, now the tower inside Bone. Uh, I don't know why they call it Bone, but I'll roll with it, Treasure. It... Both these levels are basically just big vertical shafts, so... The only real thing you have to worry about in the first part are these balloons. You kill a couple and you can get a secret bonus point. It's okay. Ah, I like that. And here's a mini-boss. Um, you jump and hit it with your head a lot. And its attack is... spinning around. And in two passes, you can kill that thing stone dead. Because this is Dynamite Heady on the Game Gear, and as we've established, uh, it is lacking in the challenge department. This guy is interesting, though. He was a lot... <laughs> I'm not gonna reference the Genesis version. I almost did, but... No. He's easy. He's easy. And we're done with the tower. This boss is, a uh, kind of fun. <laughs> but kind of fun, I mean, kind of tedious. Now, the idea is to lure him to one of the sides, because he shoots out his arms, but if he gets stuck on the side of the screen, he turns and you can hit his little back battery. His attack pattern is a little more complex here. He shoots his arms out like this, and, well, he alternates. He'll come from the left side this time, next he'll come from the right, left, right, left, right. Now, you don't have enough time to move him, like, in between the screen, like, get him stuck on the right side of the screen, for instance. And if you try this, well, you're gonna get hit by the arm, but you're gonna deal lots of damage to him. You could tank him and outrace him, but there's a better way to do things, believe me. This fight does take a while, I mean... You don't have much opportunity to wail on his weak point. And there you go. You just wait a little at the side there and move out of the way of his arm just in time. And run into it again, but that's okay. That's, that's alright. It's fine. We're doing more damage to him than he's doing to us. And again, that's all you do because, heaven forbid, we program more than one attack pattern in. I, I shouldn't say that. I don't know if they were lazy or they just wanted to... Or if it was... It was treasure! I mean, they put their name there, unless this was, like, poured out to some third-party developer. But I don't... I don't know. I don't understand it myself, but... The point is, we're playing it, and we beat stage four. And we get a lot of points. Even the secret P, because... Those are the best. Guess what, kids? This is the final level. <laughs> sort of. Y you'll see. It's basically a series of short little hallways and things come at you. Different things, like there's rockets here. Now, purple penguins? Purple penguins. You hit them a couple times and they go away. That's all you need to do. Not coming at you in any interesting patterns or nothing. Oh, but look, a mini boss. That, that could be more interesting, right? No, because, again, you've seen everything it can do. It moves, it shoots. It moves, it shoots. It dies. This part ca can catch you off guard, little rowboat guys. I don't like it. Well, they, they got me. They got me. Little dudes on strings, uh, not a problem. Hat mini boss! Hit it a couple times and shoots bullets at its mouth. That's. That's what it does! Oh, it's dead now. What, what a surprise! And now cows. Oh, I'm, I'm bad at avoiding cows. I'll, I'll just let you know that right now. And I'm almost dead, actually. This is. This, this is the closest the game has ever come to being hard, is that it's almost killed me. Oh look! It's a giant secret bonus point! Get it! Get it! 
All it's gonna do is move and we can stun lock it with our head. Chew on it, Hetty! Chew on it! That's right. You good boy. Excellent. It's gone. And that was the stage. That was the last actual level. The rest of the game is gonna be boss fights. Starting with Mariam Twin Faces. Hit it when it's green. Dodge it when it's red. That's the fight. That, that's it. And you listen. You just listen. When it makes a little chime, you can hit it. And when it goes, hmm, then you gotta move. Just stand in the middle, see what direction that the red face is gonna come from, and then run away from it, because it never shoots all the way across the screen, otherwise you'd never be able to avoid getting hit by it. And that's the boss fight. That's it. I never really made it that far in Dynamite heading on to Genesis, so I don't know. I think this guy was in there, but he was probably harder. But, again, not really comparing the Genesis version that much. But we beat Stage 5. That's great. So our final challenge is going to be uh, two boss fights. And then the game's done. Finished. It's Mariama's last chance. Now, at first, this boss gave me a lot of trouble until I learned how to fight him. You see, he's just going to move back and forth, but then he does this bullet hell pattern that, at first, I didn't know how the hell to dodge that, but I found out. Oh, I found out. Stand in the corner and jump. And guess what? That's the entire fight! That's it! You just make sure you're standing on the right side when he goes into his bullet pattern here and just jump. That, that's what you do. I don't know if that's how you're supposed to dodge it or if I'm just using a very clever exploit involving hitboxes. I'm not really sure because you can miss the timing on this and have your foot hit a bullet and take damage, but I'm really not sure if I'm doing this legit or not, but that's it. That's, 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 that's the fight. He's almost dead. I feel like this should have been a little more imposing, but oh well. This game's really easy. I mean, really. Wow. But Mariama's finally done. Cute little cat bastard. And now it's time for the final attack against uh, the leader of the puppet empire. I don't know, but... Here's the fun thing, they give you lots of power-ups. And I didn't know this until I actually started playing this for the internet, but the only time power-ups show up are in the second level, and here. Oh, also, you can heal yourself in the final fight. I'm, I'm just gonna say that right now. Yeah. Uh, what, is this fight too hard for you? Don't worry, here, I'll give you a chance to heal yourself. Good God. Anyway, like, he's just... Wow! This is... I don't even have words to express. Yeah, he's got one more attack where blocks rain down from the sky, but I don't know if he's going to use it or not. We'll, we'll find out. But, wow. Oh yeah, and this head. I don't think I got this head. The pig head that shoots bullets, and he's dead. That's it. We beat the game. That took, like, what? Less than 20 minutes. You could watch an episode of Primetime TV in that amount of time. Less amount of time, even. Hey, I'm gonna watch the latest How I Met Your Mother. Oh, okay, I'm just gonna beat Dynamite Hetty on the Game Gear. Are you done? I'm done. Are you? No, no, no. Neil Patrick Harris is still suiting up. Uh, oh, okay. That's, that's, that's the game. That was Dynamite Hetty. We got a thing. Can we get points? Our final score is gonna be, what, like 20, 27,000 points? Yay. That's a nice number. And we got a smiley badge for our efforts. That's, that's great. Well, that was Dynamite Hetty on the Game Gear. How was it? Easy as hell. Like... Wow, okay. I know, I, I kind of deserve a break. I, I beat the Battletoads, I beat like, like, lots of hard video games, so maybe this isn't as easy as I think. My perception may be 
skewed, but come on! The bosses do jack shit. Even in a, like a Mega Man game or hell, any other treasure game like Gunstar Heroes or Dynamite Heading on the Genesis. The bosses do things besides come at you. Come at you again. Come at you again. Come at you again. Oh, I'm dead now. Wow! No wonder this game fell between the cracks. That and the fact that it was on the goddamn Game Gear, but still. When you consider the fact that it's on the goddamn Game Gear, it is still one of the best games on the Game Gear, just really simple. And well, that can't be bad. That can't be bad half the time. I mean, look at the game like uh, DuckTales on the NES. That game's kind of easy. And you can beat it in like 20 minutes, but people think that's a classic! Dynamite Heady ain't quite a classic on the Game Gear, but it's one of the best Game Gear games. I mean, what do you got? Game Gear Shinobi, Sonic Triple Trouble, Line, uh, Line? I, I don't know, nobody said anything, but that's alright. Well, that was Dynamite Heady on the Game Gear. It was fun, if not lacking in challenge. Next time, we have an hour to save the world.